Hey guys, okay, so as the title says, this is gonna be a flex your eye tutorial. As you can see, this is how my hair turned out. Watch the video, see what I think. Um, yeah, just, just check out the video, stay till the end, and see how we got to this point. But before we jump into that, I just wanna quickly mention these two products that have been absolutely amazing. This is the first time that I use them, but I feel like they gave my hair so much moisture, so much definition, it's holding the curls, even though I've separated um, numerous times it's holding the curls. I don't feel like I'll have to re-moisturize my hair at all. As you'll see in the video, it definitely brought out so much definition and curls on my hair. So I'll just quickly tell you guys what it says. So this is the Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In and these are both by Curl Dynasty. And this one says, um, powerful moisturizer, hydrates and softens, and melts away knots for easy detangling, promotes manageability, healthier hair growth and retention for all hair types, works great, for pores, curly, kinky, very dry hair types in need of hydration. So this says to add liberally to clean wet hair. My hair was clean, but my hair was not wet, it was dry, and it still worked great in my hair. So if you put it in wet hair, I'm sure it'll work even better. And the next product is the Vanilla Cream Custard Curl Defining Cream. So this one, um, it says to apply to damp hair as well. I did it to dry hair, so it works either way. It says a strong hold curl definer provides definition, shine, bounce, and softness, minimizes tangles and breakage, no crunch, no flakes, wonderful for all curl types. So I can definitely say that these two products live up to their claims. So far, I'm really loving them. My hair is extremely moisturized, and I use a lot of product in my hair because it usually does not hold the moisture. It tends to dry out sometimes once you take it out, because you know you might, your hair might be like, say, in a twist, a twisted state in order to do a twist out, and it's really moisturized, it's soft, and then a couple days after being out and in the air, it tends to get dry, and that has not happened to my hair at all. So I'm definitely excited to continue to use these products and see how they work with my hair because so far it's working really good. Okay, so now we're going to jump right into the steps that I took to achieve this style. So keep on watching. Okay, so I washed my hair about two days ago um, because I didn't have time to style it on the day that I washed it, but I wanted to make sure it was done and washed so that I can get right into the hairstyle when I had time. And then I just put in a ponytail and banded it. And we are going to pray that it comes out great because if it doesn't, I don't know what we're gonna do to our hair. The only thing that I have in my hair right now is some um, oil, it's just like a combination of oils that I put in my hair in the shower right after I washed it. Outside of that, I just have some um, like light hair gel to just lay my hair down. Products that we're using today are by Curl Dynasty. I have the Vanilla Cream Custard, it's a curl defining cream, and the Kayla, Hari smooth leave-in and then I'm just going to use my usual um, water and aloe vera juice mixture and then I just have a little mixture of oil to use as well. I just want to show you guys really quickly what these products do to my hair. Like I said, this is the first time I've used the Curl Dynasty products and my hair was completely dry. You guys know I like to do my twist outs in a completely dry state and then when I add the products that kind of um, bring some moisture back into it. But... I mean, it's not all of my texture, but you can, I don't know if you can kind of see that on camera, but it definitely brings curls out. So if you're someone that's able to do wash and goes, which I already know I cannot do wash and goes, if you see me on Instagram, you know that, yeah, it doesn't happen for me, but it definitely brings out the curl. So this is how I'm doing it. I'm twisting the root just a little bit, not too much, just kind of like if I were to twist it, I would make sure that I twisted it tightly at the roots. I'm just bending it. So I don't know if you guys saw that, like I'm just twisting it and then bending it around there. And then I'm really just going to smooth it all the way down. I want the curls to be long and stretched. Because I know a lot of people kind of like to like wrap this and shorten it and all that kind of stuff. But I don't want that. I want it to be in a stretch state. And I don't want those like Shirley Temple type curls either. But I'm not sure how to prevent that from happening. But like I said, we're going to see. How this comes out. I'm gonna put a little bit more product on the ends just to make sure that it sticks to the flexi rod and then I'm gonna curl it up. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for the entire thing. So I'm just basically gonna keep sectioning the hair and I'll do one on this side so you guys can see. I am trying to take sections that are somewhat the same size that I would do for a twist out so keep in mind, when you are styling your hair when it's completely dry, 
and you section it off, it, the section is going to seem a little bit thicker because it's dry. But once you moisturize it and put product on it, it's not going to seem as thick. So I say that to explain that it might seem like you're taking a pretty big section, but once you moisturize it and dampen it and all that stuff, it's not going to be as big. So I take about this much of this product. My hair requires a lot of product to keep it moisturized. I'm going to take some of the other product, the custard, and put that through my hair as well. I'm going to put a few drops of this little oil mixture to seal it all in. So it's definitely the custard that is bringing out the texture of my hair. And you guys see I started off with like completely dry hair. And putting those products on it just adds so much moisture and texture. That's why, for one, when you style your hair on dry hair, you're going to get more volume, you're going to get more length, and less shrinkage. And I just feel like it's not necessary to do it on wet hair when you see how moisturized it gets once you put the product in it. That's just gonna take 10 times longer to dry, in my opinion. This product really, really, oh my God, this product really brings out the texture of my hair. And this is not even like the full texture because my hair is not completely, um, my hair is not like soaking wet. Wow, if you guys, seriously, if you guys are into wash and goes, you definitely need to try this product out. Okay. So I'm going to just make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm going to twist a little bit at the roots. Take this. So this is basically what I'm doing. When I wrap it around my hair, I'm curving it like this to keep it secure. Put it on my hair. Close it up to secure it. And then I'm going to twist it around. and secure and then just twist it up and that's basically what I'm gonna do for all these sections I'll do um, some more in the back like I pretty much sectioned my hair the way I would for a twist out so I have my two side sections this top section I have this section here and then another section and then I'm working on the bottom right now so like I said I'm gonna do some more of the back because it gets kind of repetitive you guys see how I'm doing it and then when I get closer to the front I'll come back and show you guys how I'm doing it in the front okay so I've done most of the back section I'll turn around and show you guys I don't know what's going on back here because I can't see but this is what we have so far like I said I'm basically just kind of doing like a candy cane kind of thing you want to make sure that you really try to smooth out the hair as much as possible because you don't want the curl to be frizzy when you take it up. You really have to make sure that you space it out good enough to where it's still spaced out, but you don't run into having more hair left than you have space on the flexi rod.
Okay, so now we only have the front two sections left. All the back is done. So now this front section, I want to make sure that I kind of make it fall kind of, well not kind of, it's very similar to my twist out. So because this section is a lot thicker, I think that what I'm going to do is split it in half. so that I can have like underneath curls and above curls because I feel like this section's too wide for me to do the type of sectioning that I normally do like down like this when I do twists. So this is how I'm going to split the two sections. I am done. Don't ask me how many flexi rods I have in my hair because I have no idea. But this is it. I really, 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 really pray that this comes out like so cute because it took a lot of time. So, wish me luck, guys. Okay, it is the moment of truth. My hair should definitely be dry because it has been air drying for many hours. Let's hope that this comes out good. Interesting. These are so uncomfortable. I cannot wait to get these things out of my hair. So the curls are definitely looking a little Shirley Temple-ish, but I think hopefully once I do a little separating and styling, we'll be able to make it look a little better. Okay, so just as I suspected, I look like Shirley Temple. I look like a 12 year old going to church on Sunday. So I would not say that this is a major fail because I mean the curls are not bad. Some of them like this one is very Shirley Temple-ish. This one is not so bad. This one is pretty good. But um, we're gonna have to figure something out with this so I think what I'm going to do 
is kind of just like untwist the roots and stretch it a little bit and then I'm going to pineapple it overnight to kind of stretch it out some more because you can see that it's like a ton of <laughs> shrinkage going on. But I will say my hair feels really, really soft and moisturized. Those products definitely work well with my hair. I'm just not into these, uh, these curls. So... We're gonna pick this video up tomorrow after my hair has been stretched overnight. We're gonna do a little fluffing, a little styling, and see what we come up with. Would you guys wear your hair out like this? <laughs> I definitely would not. Um, but we'll see. I think we have something to work with. It's just that it's like super curly right now. Okay, so I have been trying to figure out what the heck to do to this hair for the past couple days. I have just had it up in a pineapple. I have been so tempted to just turn it into a twist out because that seems to be the only thing my hair likes to do. Every time I try to venture off and do something different, it turns out to be a fail. So. For the sake of this video, because I've spent so much time filming it and I really wanted to do something different for you guys with my hair, I'm going to see if I can try <laughs> to salvage it. Um, I kind of played around with it a little bit yesterday to try to separate a few curls to see if that would make a difference, but I feel like when I start separating it, it's just going to create a ton of frizz. But we're gonna just figure this out together because I'm like, okay, I'm sure there's, you know, people who have had a similar situation happen with their hair and so let's just see if this is something we can fix i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have to do a headband situation which is usually my savior for um a bad hair day but we're gonna separate these curls see what we get and just go with it i think that Possibly after I see how this looks, I might just go ahead and turn this into a twist out because this just doesn't look like something that's going to work for me. And then I think I'll record it. I'll do like how to turn a failed flexi rod set into a twist out. fluffing and separating I honestly feel like this is the best I'm gonna get and this is not so bad like when I tell you guys I keep a ton of scarves on deck especially black ones because they match with anything whenever my hair does not come out good um but I don't want to just like slick it in a ponytail or a bun because you know once you do that it's a wrap for your hair because you got to put all that product on it I will just throw a headband on because you know when you have it like down in your face sometimes it's like it shows how much of a mess it is but if you throw a little headband on with it you know do some separating a lot of times the front might be frizzy so pulling it back is going to kind of um, disguise some of that frizziness and I can deal with this like this is not the desired look that I was trying to achieve but I feel like I wouldn't feel like I look crazy if I went outside with my hair like this. The problem that happened with this style, in my opinion, is what I had mentioned earlier in the video was that I felt like they were going to come out 
like Shirley Temple curls. And I feel like, honestly, you know how like some people can heat train their hair? I feel like my hair is twist out trained. <laughs> like I've been doing twist outs the entire time that I've been natural that my hair literally just does not know how to act if I try to do anything different. And so I've tried wash and goes, I've tried braid outs. Um, I've had a couple successful braid outs. When I straighten it, it doesn't last. My hair just really loves to be in a twist out because when I do my twist outs, I kind of follow the direction and the shape of my natural curls. And so that's just how my hair performs the best. So, I mean, some of you guys may not say this is a fail. For me, I feel like this is kind of a fail, but I definitely feel like the scarf and the separation saved it a little bit like if I had to go somewhere and I didn't know what else to do with my hair I would honestly just throw on a scarf so it's definitely holding the shape that the flexi rods left so I would definitely recommend using these products if you have similar hair needs to mine I feel like these are going to be like my go-to products I am actually excited to try this again on freshly washed hair going straight into a twist out because I feel like it's going to give my hair tons of definition just like you saw when I put it in my hair it brought like a ton of curls out and that was not even on soaking wet hair that was on dry hair um, so it gives my hair tons of definition it gives a good hold and it makes it super moisturized like I feel like I'm not gonna have to re-moisturize my hair um, before wash day at all which is what I normally have to do because it's just so moisturized and soft so I'm sorry if this was a fail. Like I said, some may think it's a fail, some may not. I think it was a fail because it didn't come out the way that I envisioned it. But you know what? It's always nice to try new things and figure out ways to deal with a style that didn't come out exactly the way you like it. Um, yeah, so this was a learning experience for all of us. Um, I probably won't be trying this anytime soon. This is not the move right here, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you stayed till the end, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I'm thinking of posting videos twice a week. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this or not. So I'm thinking maybe like a Wednesday, Sunday schedule. Let me know. I have posted a video on a Monday before and I feel like a lot of you guys didn't really see it. But when I post my videos on Wednesday, you guys are accustomed to that schedule and you um, tend to watch the video. So if you're down for me posting twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, let me know. I just want to see if that is just a better schedule. Um, I have a lot of content that I have ready to go so I won't be missing videos anytime soon. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to post twice a week. Let me know what you thought about this whole video. If you thought it was a fail or if you liked the way that it came out. <laughs> I will leave a link to where you can get these products in the description box below. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram at All My Loves Too. I actually wish you guys were following me because I really wanted to go make a post on Instagram before I started filming this part of the video and ask you guys if you wanted to see me try to save this style or go straight into how to turn a fill flex your out set into a twist out. But y'all yeah, don't follow me on Instagram. So it's like I couldn't even ask because I feel like the majority of people that follow me on Instagram don't watch my YouTube videos, which I don't know why. Um, but yeah, follow me there so that in hair emergencies like this, you guys can kind of like help me figure out what to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.